cost effectively improve energy performance of buildings about 60%. And we aren't really using any new technology in, in the building doing that. The new technology we're using is building performance test equipment. Lower doors to measure air infiltration rates in homes, duct blasters to measure duct leakage, flow hoods to measure airflow and room air balance and room velocities, infrared cameras to carefully assess the performance of the building insulation, which is a big opportunity. And we use infrared cameras with lower doors to locate air leaks. Even our best effort, um, new homes, Energy Star homes, utility program uh, energy homes, all those different areas, we still see significant opportunity for improvement. This house, the Department of Energy actually monitored. So the Federal Department of Energy measured all the energy consumption, um, all of the temperatures, both inside and outside, did weather monitoring for a full year every 15 minutes. We use standard fiberglass bats, standard loose fill ceiling insulation, standard ducts in the attic, standard split system air conditioner. We did a high efficiency water heater and a high efficiency air conditioner. And we were able to get the heating cooling costs for this new building down to about nine cents per square foot per year, about $320 a year. We carefully provided a good draft stop. We carefully installed the seating insulation. We carefully installed all the fiberglass baths. And we were able to reduce the cooling costs 81% compared to other brand new homes built at Title 24. Uh, the heating costs 49%. And the cost of the improvements were 0.4% of the uh, building cost, or $5,000. 50 different subcontractors all trying to build a house, and nobody knows what the other one's doing or why. There's no there's no rate of leakiness or hole size that we can leave in a home so that we get just the right amount of air movement between outside and inside. Um, and the reason is, is what, what makes air enter a house is like the wind, for example. So if we decided that on a mild day to get just the right amount of fresh air in our house, we leave the window open two inches. But on a cold, windy day, that two-inch crack would give us 100 times more cold air than we want or need. 